Downstairs, one of Peter's colleagues, Tim Smith, lets me loose on his eye tracking machine. We use an infrared camera. What you can see immediately is it's found these blue spots, yeah. which are your pupils. First up, Tim shows me my normal eye movements. This pink spot is where you were looking. Now, as I play it, you'll see how rapidly it shifts around the scene. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, it's really sort of jumping around. You move your eyes a lot more frequently than you ever realise. For instance, you're making these very rapid movements of your eyes called saccadic eye movements yeah. about three to five times every second. So the eye's taking little snapshots as it sort of darts about and then sort of stitching it together to create a whole picture. Is that right? Yeah. So when a magician's doing a trick, he's making you look here, but you can't see what's going on here. Yeah, that's true. And what Tim shows me next is really surprising. Every time our eyes saccade or make those little jumps, our vision actually briefly shuts down. That means Tim can make things disappear without me noticing. Now, whenever you detect a change, I want you to press the space bar again. OK. OK? I'm, I'm ready Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. But look all around the scene, Dallas. Mm -hmm. You can see the top of the block of flaps disappear, but I can't. You haven't noticed any changes? No. Ah, I just saw a change. See, the woman was there. Tim's computer is tracking my eye movements and it only makes a change when I'm effectively blind because my eyes are moving from one part of the picture to another. That's why you can see the changes, but I can't. How many changes do you think you saw? Uh, three. Well, let's have a look. So this is what the scene looked like at the end. Yeah. And this is what it looked like at the beginning. The tower block disappeared. The man appeared, the man and the little boy turned into a woman. That was, that was it for me. There's so there's, there's maybe three changes. But did you notice the bus disappear? No. I did not notice the bus disappear. Did you notice the barriers change colour? Not even remotely. Did you notice the bike disappear? No. <laughs> or the branch? No. Or the top of this tower? No. <laughs> oh, I'm rubbish. But I have learnt why I can do magic tricks. I'm exploiting the very way our eyes move and how we piece together what we see. The science of magic is revealed by the magic of science. Only recently have we had the technology to do the kind of experiments that you're experiencing today so that we can start to understand how we actually see the world and how we stitch it all together to give us this general experience of this kind of constant, coherent, real world. Think of a card. Any card. Got it? Yeah. Seven of spades. Ah, oh, three of spades. Oh. <laughs>